It's nine o'clock, people. I just woke up. Mm. I'm hungry. I took out a roast beef yesterday. I don't feel like slow cooking it because it's nine o'clock and I'm hungry now. But I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm thinking right, and I'm probably not because I'm stupid. Uh, I'm thinking about hacking it up into like steaks and cooking it over time. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. I really don't. But this is a sirloin tip roast. Yeah. Don't know how well this is going to work. This is what I'm working with. I'm thinking about chopping her up into like slabs, air frying some tonight, and then putting the rest in freezer bags and eating them over time. I don't know if it's going to work. What's the worst that could happen? So I chopped up some of it. Doesn't look too bad. Probably going to cook that tonight in the air fryer. Maybe a couple more slabs, I don't know. Pretty hungry. But, yeah, it's not exactly the best for doing what I want to do. But it'll work. Alrighty, I'm going to blast this here in the air fryer for a bit. Hopefully it comes out good. All i got to say is these knives my parents got me for Christmas are so freaking sharp. They are great. So I got some of the tenderloin or whatever the hell it is. Tip sirloin, whatever, in the air fryer now. I just also put on some rice in the rice cooker for dinner, so that should be good. And do a little bit of cleaning up. And I guess we'll wait for dinner. Oh, didn't even realize you guys were recording. Caught the cat. She just took off. What the frig is that? Is that just a whole bunch of fluff? What is that? I gotta get my vacuum out. More power to the lights. Yeah, it's just dog fur. That's the problem. It's like, yeah, it's annoying. Wanting pets is annoying people. Very, very much annoying. You're annoying, Oreo. You're annoying. Yeah, it's you. You're annoying. He's cute though, and that's the only reason why he's sticking around. But uh, no, I caught the cat pissing on the couch again. Don't know what the hell her problem is. It's like I clean her litter box. Like I, I'll, I'll admit, back in the day, I was a little lazy on cleaning the litter box, mainly because I hated scoop and poop. But since I got the LUP, it's like the easiest job is to clean her litter box because lift and sift. Lift the tray, sift out all the sand, pour the turds and the solidified urine into a garbage receptacle, and then put the old tray underneath and the new tray is ready to go. And when your kitty litter starts getting a little tainted, yeah, sometimes you got to drain the whole thing out and replace all the kitty litter. But if you're on it every day, you can usually go a while before you need to reload the kitty litter, so it's always fresh. So I don't know what the hell her problem is and why she has to piss on the couch. Now I looked at it online, and some people say it's because she's stressed out. Some people say it could be a medical issue. Well, she was just at the vet and she checked in it okay. Remember, she has an allergy to chicken. So they wanted to check up on her, see how she was, if she was half cat this year or not, and so on and so forth. But no, everything checked out fine. She's in good health. So it's not a health issue why she's pissing on the couch. So it's got to be a defiance issue. And let me tell you, it's really starting to piss me off because I don't know where else she's pissing. Is it just the couch or is she just, you know, squirting everywhere? Like, I talked to my friends about it, and they're like, well, first thing I would do is get rid of the cat. Well, yeah, it'd be nice to do that, but I kind of can't do that because it's not my forte. It's not my, my thing. What I'm tempted to do this summer is introduce her to the going outside. Make her an outdoor kitty, too, instead of keeping her cooped up in the house. I know it's not safe to do that in the city, but it's like... If she's going to be feral and piss in the friggin' house and not in her litter box, then... Oh, that's smelling good, people. Then maybe she needs to go outside where she can piss on everything and have a good time doing it because, yeah. Luckily, the couch is leather and urine doesn't soak into it. 
and you can just wipe it up and it's fine. But it's just the fact that she's doing it. And let's say I clean the couch today and she does it tonight and I don't clean the couch tomorrow or the day after. It literally gets between the seat cushions and then glues them together. So when you sit down you hear this like crunching sound as the seat cushions are like separating and stuff. And it's pretty freaking gross. It's like, you got a clean litter box. It's in another room. Just go take a piss shit. Some people say maybe you need to put the litter box up high because cats like to be up high. Well, I understand now why some people are saying just get rid of the cat. Because trying to negotiate with an animal, like a dog is easy. Like, he knows when he does bad things. He knows it. Because he will, like, give me this look, right? Not that look. That's that's dirt. Look at that freaking face. Look at him. What a stupid face. He has such a stupid face. <laughs> He's so stupid. But, like, he'll give you this guilty look. He knows he was bad. Like, if he poops in the house, he knows. You don't do that. But sometimes... You can't hold it, and I'm not awake to let him out, or I'm not home to let him out, so... He'll hold on as long as he possibly can, but... If he's gonna have an accident, he's gonna have an accident, it's the way she goes, and he's getting old now, eh? Like... He's gonna be, next year, ten years old. I don't know how long these little walking... Friggin' Furbies live, but... He's gonna be ten. I'm surprised he still has all of his teeth, because normally Pomeranians... That's the first thing to go, is their dentures. True. Anywho, I'm gonna go and see what the heck's going on with the guys online. I think we're playing some games tonight or something, probably PUBG. Haven't played that in a while. You know, that's it, the servers are up. So, yeah. I'll check back in when dinner's ready. What would you guys do if your cat was pissing on the couch? Let me know in the comments below. Smells like dinner's ready. So, let's go ahead and grab that and put it onto a plate. And then it's Omnom time. I'm on TeamSpeak right now chatting with uh, Logan and, and Chutch. Alright. Our rice looks good. And these things look good. So, I'm going to plate this. I need two hands. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, I probably don't need all that rice, but I'm going to eat it anyway because I'm hungry. So, I'm going to head back upstairs. Get back on TeamSpeak, chat with the guys, eat some dinner, and uh, probably chime in afterwards. Because, yeah, I want to talk about the truck and that advanced track and stuff. Because I don't think I was that clear about that yesterday. So, burb. Well, guys, all I got to say is chopping up that beef and then air frying it with a little S&P, salt and pepper. I've been doing that with my steaks too, salt and pepper on it. A buddy told me, he's like, if you like Montreal steak spice, just put some sea salt and pepper onto it, some cracked corn pepper. He goes, it's just as good. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it out. And he's right. Sea salt and cracked corn pepper, just as good as a Montreal steak spice. Who would have thunk it? I got to piss. Now I know there's some sort of a pink salt you can get that uh, it's better for you. But I've always used sea salt. And this is the... Uh, the stuff that I use, Fino Fine Sea Salt, and it tastes just as good as this stuff, table salt, except for, I guess, it's from seawater rather than cultivated however table salt's cultivated. Whatever, I'm letting the dog out. Freak's sakes, it snowed again out here. Son of a bitch. But yeah, something I gotta do either tomorrow or next week, definitely before Thursday, is go get my sticker renewed for the truck. I thought for sure when I bought that truck they put a two year on it. They only put a one year. It's cheap bastards. You'd think that, you know, you buy a $40,000 vehicle, the least they can do is put a two year license on it. It's not like you're gonna trade it in in a year. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. One year GTFO. Hell, the guy didn't even tell me anything about the car, so. Or the truck, I should say. I had to figure out how the electric start worked on my own. Press and hold. You just gotta hang off of it until the car starts, so the truck starts. Okay, whatever. 
didn't really tell me about the four. I didn't realize four wheel drive. You could engage it four wheel high and back the two wheel drive while you're moving. I thought you had to be at a stop to put it in four wheel high. I didn't realize you could actually do it on the fly until the one day I dialed it over to see what would happen <laughs> because I figured there was some sort of a safety countermeasure that if come on if it didn't uh, like that it would stop it from happening and nope it just engaged the four wheels and gave me more traction so I was like oh well shit that's kind of cool and then I confirmed that it won't hurt the truck doing that and that's what I've been doing ever since so yeah good times good times always man I'm so stoked for this winter to piss off and spring to be here I'm actually stoked for the end of the month to see what's going to happen with our contracts because we got a notice today in the email from the um, the contract place like the basically I guess you could say my boss that due to the new labor laws there's been some changes and they told us what the new one is is we're entitled to two personal days a year so if something happens that we got to go then you just tell them and you get paid for that day so that's kind of cool but I guess we'll have to wait and see what else we get out of the deal? Hmm. Huh, we're well, getting kind of tired, boys. So, probably going to shut her down here. It's a weird video today. I don't know why I thought I was going to do more with it, but I guess I didn't. But, uh, yeah, something else I want to look at is those low-volume, low-pressure paint guns. Uh, the guy was basically explaining it as the gun itself uses less material and less overspray, therefore, in the end result, more of the paint that you purchase lands on the car and not in the atmosphere. Still got to wear a respirator, don't get me wrong. But, you know, you're not buying two gallons of paint and only having a gallon hit the car. I'm probably over-exaggerating on the amount. But, uh, yeah. And LVLP is designed to work with a 20-gallon tank. Actually, it's designed to work with a 10-gallon tank or one of those 8-gallon pancakes tanks. So that's pretty cool. That's very cool. So I think I might go that route there and then I can at least respray my car and get it. Well, I got a lot of body work to do on it. I want to fill in all the dents in the back quarter. Um, just behind the driver's side door, there's a dent there that's been there since I bought the car. I want to clean that up, fill that, prime it, clean it, whatever. And then uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about the spoiler. I have no idea what I'm going to do about the spoiler. The spoiler is a rubber spoiler with a candy coat over top of it, like a plastic coat. And the plastic coat is what's falling off. So I could either A, remove the spoiler and run without one, or B, remove all the candy coating and run just the rubber part, but I don't know if that's wise because I heard they dry out and then shed. Or C, save up some money and buy a fiberglass spoiler for it, which I have no idea how much those cost or where to get them for that matter besides eBay so more research to be done there but yeah anyway people I'm gonna shut her down here uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about all what's going on uh, leave a like likes are great and until next time people keep on vlogging